but should you buy this watch yourself? Guys, what is up? It is official. It is now here. The Blanc Palm by Swatch Scuba 50 Fathoms watch is now available. The new bioceramic entry in the Swatch lineup, much like the Moon Swatch, this is gonna be an extremely hot piece. They are already being auctioned before people have them in, in hand on eBay, way over market value. So as I said, this is Swatch's newest bioceramic entry, much like the Moon Swatch. This is gonna be super hyped up. I have my Moon Swatch right here. And although I haven't gone ahead and got an order in or decided to spend my life lining up at the Swatch store to get one of these watches quite yet, they do look pretty interesting. So this is the bioceramic Swatch take on the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, which is a classic watch, very, very iconic watch. And a lot like the Moon Swatch did, there's a bunch of different variations and styles. You can get it in the Arctic Ocean finish, Pacific Ocean finish, Atlantic Ocean finish, Indian Ocean finish, and the Antarctic Ocean finish. Personally, my two favorites are definitely the Atlantic and the Antarctic, the white and the blue. I think they're pretty crisp, pretty sharp colors. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comments, guys. All of these Scuba 50 Fathom watches are powered by Swatch's in-house mechanical movement, the System 51, been around since 2013. Very reliable movement with a 90 hour power reserve and anti-magnetic feature. Very detailed, they've done a very nice job on the back of this movement. I think it looks pretty unique and it does appear that the back of each watch is gonna be slightly different in terms of its finishing and illustration based on the model that you get. So that's also a really nice cool touch and definitely a way for Swatch to try and push that you buy all of the variations. And just like the Moon Swatch, this is a bioceramic material on the case and that's just really a fancy word for plastic. The Moon Swatch is not a durable, not a high-end, not a very robust piece. I don't expect this to be any different. My Moon Swatch has stood up against the test of time. I do wear it on, from time to time. I wear it out and about. Uh, I'm not exactly nervous about breaking it, and it has some scratches and a little bit of beat up, but nothing has truly gone wrong with it like some of the other reviews out there have experienced. Now, what definitely does set the Blancpain Scuba 50 Fathoms, apart from the Moon Swatch, is that it is water resistant. Obviously, the name Scuba implies this is a diving watch, which is kind of interesting. But yes, believe it or not, it has a 300 foot water resistance. Some of the initial unboxings have already started to hit the web. And yeah, I think the packaging is much nicer on this one than the Moon Swatch, definitely a little bit more intricate. And Swatch is saying, yes, this is a non-limited edition. So don't do the crazy Moon Swatch thing. There will be more available. But as we saw with the Moon Swatch, that rollout was kind of a nightmare. So this first round will probably sell it extremely quickly and who knows when more will actually be available. So what about that price point then? Well, the Scuba 50 Fathoms is gonna be $400. And just like the Moon Swatch, available in store only. You can't get it online unless you go to third party marketplaces, but the prices over there on eBay are already well in excess of 1,000 Canadian dollars. So like 800 US dollars. But really all that it comes down to is, do you wanna buy this and should you buy it? It does have a pretty unique feature set being you know, 90 hour power reserve, mechanical movement, in-house swatch movement, and that 300 feet of water resistance. That's pretty cool for a $400 watch. But again, unless you are a diehard who has lined up and plans to spend your whole day at the swatch store getting one, you won't be getting one of these for $400. Now, I myself did not pay the normal retail for the Moon Swatch. I paid over retail and yes, do I regret it a little bit? Yeah, a little bit I do. Again, this is a Swatch watch at the end of the day. It might be styled like a Blancpain or like a Omega, but at the end of the day, it is a Swatch that's, you know, not the highest end. The bioceramic, again, is definitely not going to last for 10, 20 years like you would with a real Blancpain, but it is a cool tribute homage piece. And again, I think like with a Moon Swatch, it's definitely going to get people excited about watches and maybe introduce people to a new brand because Blancpain is an iconic brand, but not a lot of people who aren't like watch aficionados, watch connoisseurs, really know much about that brand. So it is interesting how Swatch continues to mix in their subsidiary brands and sort of bring them into the forefront, into the mainstream market a little bit more. I think it's a cool collab. And again, I do like the look of a couple of these. Some of the colors, just like with the Moon Swatch, are a little too funky for me. Should you pick one up though? I think it depends on whether or not you're willing to pay that premium over retail, or if you are really just a true collector, uh, then that's gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna pay that extra cost. The 
hype tax, if you want to call it. But what do you guys think? Will you be picking one up? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this collab. Time will tell. Maybe I'll pick one up. Maybe we'll have a review and unboxing happening here on the channel in the near future. Anyway, that's been all for me for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. We will see you again soon in the next one.